Now I'm going to talk about a specific type of hormone which is known as adrenaline. So whenever you're in a bad situation, maybe you are in danger, maybe you are excited, you may release adrenaline and that's going to prepare your body to do a certain type of action that will keep you safe. It's commonly known as the fight or flight response because the flight means you run away from the danger, you fight or you fight the fight part of it means you fight off the danger. So this is to prepare you mentally and physically. Now, firstly, there is something that secretes this hormone, and this is known as the adrenal glands. Now, the adrenal glands are just above the kidneys. So if the kidneys look something like that, the adrenal glands are just above the actual kidneys. And they release the adrenaline, the hormone adrenaline, into the bloodstream directly. And the adrenaline is going to affect multiple different organs, your eyes, your muscles, your liver, and so many different organ uh, organs. So one of the effects it has is it increases your breathing rate. So how many breaths you take. You're going to take faster breaths and you're going to take deeper breaths also. You want to maximize the amount of oxygen you get in your body because you want to do something known as as aerobic respiration, which releases the maximum amount of energy compared to anaerobic respiration, which is basically getting energy without using oxygen, doesn't give you as much oxygen. I mean, it doesn't give you as much energy per buck that aerobic respiration. So if you could do respiration with oxygen, called aerobic respiration. Without oxygen, anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration, not as much um, energy. Also, you're going to have lactic acid and a whole bunch of other problems, which I won't go into too much detail about. Now, also what's changing is your blood. So your heart is p pumping more because your uh, heart wants to pump more red, red blood cells around the body. So more nutrients is also going to be available because in your blood you've got red blood cells which are carrying the oxygen you've got a bunch of other nutrients glucose and so on, many other things that your muscles need to operate properly also your blood pressure is going to increase so the pressure and the speed at which the blood is moving throughout the body so the oxygen gets to the muscles really quickly and takes away the waste products really quickly also to maximize the amount of blood that is going to your muscles your body is going to redirect some of the blood from your digestive system so the digestive system is going to relax a bit and you're going to maximize the amount of blood going to the actual muscles. So instead of going to the digestive system, it's going to the muscles. Now that sounds a bit weird because you're like, yeah, but you need like energy to fight, don't you? Well, yes, you do need energy, but the the thing you're going to need is a lot of blood to the muscles. So we're going to prioritize actually whatever glucose we have at the moment, let's use that glucose. We're also going to get more glucose. I'll go through this later on, like in this video. But whatever we got in the body, let's make do with it. We're not going to waste time in digesting food we don't know how many how long it's going to take to digest that food we're gonna we've got a few minutes to deal with this threat that we got right in front of us so let's focus let's deal with this threat rather than digesting food now like i said where do we get this glucose from well we have glycogen that is stored in the muscles and the liver now glycogen is what glucose is stored as so when your glucose levels is high, glucose is converted to glycogen with something known as insulin that helps it. And then when your body needs the glucose, like now I need to, I need as much glucose as possible now because I'm going to deal with this threat. So what we're going to do, your body is going to change your glycogen into glucose rather than digesting food. It's going to say, listen, I've got this glu glycogen stored in my muscles and my liver. Let's um, break it down quickly convert it into glucose rather than breaking some carbohydrates into uh, maltose and maltose into the oh, that's gonna be a long process let's just we've got gl glycogen glycogen is there right glycogen is just a long chain of glucose let's use this glycogen now let's get this glucose now so now your muscles can uptake more of the glucose. Your um, muscles also have more oxygen. So your muscles can do more aerobic respiration and maximize the amount of energy that they are getting. Now, if some of you remember, there is your eye and in the middle of your eye, the empty space, we call it the people. Now the people is going to actually expand. So it's actually going to get bigger. And the reason being is you want to maximize the amount of light entering your eyes. You want to maximize the amount of information getting into your eyes because I need to process this 
this danger. I need to um, understand how I'm going to deal with this a- a danger. Without getting that information into my eyes, without getting the light into my eyes, I'm not going to know how to deal with this danger. It's like you, you're fighting blindly. You don't want to fight blind. You want to be, you know, have as much eyes as possible, you know. Also, what's going to happen is the hair on your skin is going to stand up. They do uh, Animals do this so that they could appear bigger. Now, human beings, we release adrenaline not only in a dangerous situation, but also in a stressful situation. Emotional stress, it could be delivering a speech. Maybe me doing this lesson is going to release some adrenaline and maybe I'm a little bit nervous. Now, but with adrenaline, my body is now more ready for the actual fight. And because my mental awareness is awakened and my reaction is also going to be quicker. 